My name is Jessica. I'm the Early Childhood Associate at our Eden Prairie campus, and I am so excited to be here with you and learn more about God together this month. We are learning all about lost things and how special lost people are to God. So we are gonna go over two stories this month. First, we're gonna go over the parable of the lost coin, and then we're gonna talk about the parable of the lost sheep. I am so excited to keep learning more together with you. So let's get started. We're gonna do all sorts of really fun activities. We're gonna hear Bible stories and sing a song together. And then after I'm done, we have all sorts of really cool activities listed on our website that you guys can do as a family together. So let's get started with that first song. Hop up on your feet and we'll sing and dance together. Great job with that song, friends. We're gonna read a story together out of the Beginner's Bible today. The story we're gonna read is called The Lost Sheep. Some people wondered who was most important to God. So Jesus told them this parable. A parable is a story. Think about a shepherd. What does he do? He watches over his sheep gives them plenty of food, and gives them plenty of water, Jesus said. He counts them up to make sure they are all there. If one is lost, he looks for it. He looks in the barn, he looks near the stream, he looks in the hills, he looks everywhere. The shepherd does not give up. At last, he finds his lost sheep. He carries the sheep back calls his friends together and says, let's celebrate, my lost sheep has been found. Then Jesus said, God loves everyone of his children. Like the shepherd loves his sheep. When one of them sins, it's like a sheep that's gone astray. 
and God is very sad. But when the person turns away from sin and comes back to God, he is very, very happy. He celebrates like a shepherd who has found his lost sheep. Great job listening, friends. Great job listening to that story, friends. I'm so excited that you joined me today. Now, we're going to hear about what our bottom line is for today. So our bottom line says, God loves you. So I am going to say, who loves you? And I want to hear you say big and loud, God loves me. Okay, let's try it together. Who loves you? God loves me. Very good, friends. I'm so happy you were here with me today. Let's say a prayer together, and then you can go do the lesson with your parents, okay? Dear God, we thank you so, so much that anytime we are feeling lost or scared, you are with us now and always. Thank you for these wonderful stories that remind us that we can always come back to you and talk to you, and that you love us so very, very much. It's in your son Jesus' name that we pray. And everyone said, Amen. Good job, friends. Now go have some fun doing those other lesson activities. I'll see you next time.